All right, in this video, let's go ahead and learn how to generate a CSV with Postgres. So what we want to do is actually select our data. So perform a selection and then export that to a CSV file. So let's go ahead and pretty much select star and then from person, let's go ahead and perform a join or actually left join because we want to include everyone with and without the foreign key constraint. And then I'm gonna left join car on and then car dot ID equals to person dot car underscore ID. Press enter. You can see that we have three rows. Now to export this to a CSV, first I wanna show you the actual help. So backslash and then question mark. And right here in this section, input output, you can see that we have this backslash copy command, which simply performs a SQL copy with data stream to the client host. And to use it, let's simply say backslash and then copy. And then within parentheses, we have to specify what we want to copy. And we want to copy these three rows right here. So for that, we need to perform the same query. So select and then start from person, left and then join car on car.id equals to person underscore, or actually person dot, and then car underscore ID just like that. And now I want to copy the entire query to so simply type to, and then the destination of where you want to save the output in your file system. So in my case will be forward slash and then users forward slash amigos code forward slash and then desktop. And then we can use a delimiter. And then within quotes, this will be comma, and now we want this to be as CSV. And we also want to include the actual headers. And there we go. So if I press semicolon, and then enter, and users amigos code desktop is a directory. And that's true. So basically, we simply have to give it a file name. So let's go ahead and say results dot and then CSV enter. And you can see that we copied three rows. If I open up my desktop, you can see that we have this file right here called results.csv. And if I press space, you can see that we have our CSV file, including the headers, as well as the results from our query. So three rows, including Omar, Fernanda and Adriana. And this is how you generate CSV files with Postgres. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop me a message. Otherwise, join me in the next video. See ya.